What's crack lacking, YouTube? Gosh, I love saying that. But hello, everyone. Happy holidays, man. Merry Christmas. Hope you're enjoying this holiday season with family and friends. That's what it's all about. Today, we got a good, good, good video coming at you. I'm on my way to the bins. We're gonna do a little uh, last minute Christmas shopping, if you will. But yeah, I am a full-time teacher and I'm on my holiday break right now. So I, you know, it's a perfect time to go to the bins and get some inventory for my eBay store, which I need severely. I have nothing to list on eBay right now. But yeah, hey, we're almost there. So buckle up, sit back, relax. I hope you guys enjoy this video. We're at the bins. Dig in there, let's see one thing. One thing you get to show off the camera. There ain't nothing worth looking at. Hmm? Yeah, there's nothing worth looking at. Yeah, it's been kind of dry. Drop the plug though. He's the plug, literally. Hey. That is funny. I got all these coke things. I don't know if I'm gonna pick them up. All right, YouTube, I'm on my way home now. My allergies are getting the best of me once again, so nothing new there. I met a lot of cool guys there. Uh, some of them you'll see in the video, or some of them you saw in the video. I don't think I captured one of them on camera, but always nice. I always enjoy talking vintage or talking reselling with people. So if you can do that, then I like you. Uh, had a lot of fun at the bins though. Those guys got some good stuff. I got some good stuff. So I think everyone will leave there happy today. I would rather be friendly to the other resellers there rather than see them as enemies or like severe competition. Like they are competition, but it's not in a negative way. But that's maybe that's just the teacher in me. I like socializing. I like growing together and learning and stuff. So maybe that's just my input. Anyway, long story short, I'm going to show you guys everything I got once I get home. Wash your hands, it's cold and flu season. All right, YouTube, I'm back home. I'm gonna breeze through everything that I found. A lot of clothing, just a little bit of hard goods, but I will show you everything I picked up to resell online. I kind of just grabbed a lot and I never went back through stuff. So some of the items in here are gonna be bad buys because, well, because I didn't go through the finds I had before leaving. So, but I am gonna breeze through these as quickly as possible. Keep in mind, if you're interested in anything that you see in this video, to DM me at Bob Dabber on my Instagram, and you can get first dibs with a steal of a deal price on whichever item you're interested in. So like I said, there were uh, three other guys there that were looking for vintage stuff as well, and I had some nice conversations with them. It was a blast meeting them. So I got a little bit of stuff, they got a little bit of stuff, and we all left with mediocre happiness, I guess you could call it. But you have to share, you have to share the wealth. So, so this first item is a great example of what I was just talking about of like items that I picked up and then never really went back through. So I don't really know if this is worth anything. Crooks and Castles is the brand. These are just white shorts. Surprisingly for being in the bins, there are no stains on these um, and the size is large. So Crooks and Castles is a brand I used to hear a lot about, but not recently. I think it's like a mall brand, I, I don't know. I've never sold Crooks and Castles before. Pair of medium, very simple Nike swim trunks. They're all R on the white tag. Got a nice little swoosh on the bottom. This is a youth jersey. This is made in the USA, so this is vintage with that Space Jam 23. So that was a cool find. I wish it was like an adult size, but it is not. This is a rugby. I probably shouldn't have grabbed this either just because the back is very stained up, but I'm gonna do a bleach project and this will just be one item that I throw in the bleach project. But I really like vintage rugby's. I love color blocking and I love stripes. So it's hard for me to leave this kind of stuff behind. If you're new to the channel, I will resell anything and everything. Just vintage clothing is my favorite. But you know, if you wanna go full-time reseller and make the big money, you do have to branch out into electronics and wholesale and all that other stuff. So, so I try to pick up a little bit of everything, but just vintage clothing is my favorite. I don't know what it is about a vintage t-shirt that gets me going. 
but it gets me going. This is a cool one. It's got like the gray, the Heather Gray stripe, San Antonio. Got a little bit of Goodyear branding on there. So that's a nice, that's a nice t-shirt grab. This is a good sweatshirt. One of the better sweatshirts I picked up. Missouri, Missouri Tigers. It even has the elbow pads. Someone's down to get, down to get rough and rowdy in this sweatshirt. That's a cool one though. This, I'm a sucker for pieces like this, especially vintage windbreakers. I have a hard time letting them go. Uh, this is just like a fluorescent yellow with that same colored stripes. Size XL, no big stains. I just had to pick it up. Next up is a Carhartt long sleeve t-shirt. This has stains on it, but I literally just sold a brown long sleeve Carhartt t-shirt with stains on it for like 14 bucks shipped. So this is the same exact thing, only it is stained up on a black long sleeve Carhartt t-shirt. Next up is this sweatshirt, this crew neck. I just sold one very similar to this and actually Vintage Cream told me he put this one back, so I went and grabbed it. He put it back because there are some pretty serious stains on the sleeves. I'm gonna try to work with magic though. Try to get those, those stains out. Next up, this is one of the first t-shirts I grabbed while being in there today. This is a new age, it is size large. It's a little faded, but that all over print is what the uh, kids are looking for these days. Won't be a big money maker, but it should be a quick money maker. Nothing crazy here, it's just a vintage Alaska graphic t-shirt. Probably paid, I don't know, 50 cents to a dollar for this. So any cheap little flip will do justice today. This is a reverse weave Iowa State crew neck. I'll probably keep this because Iowa State is on my mater. Size large, it's on a gear tag. It's, it's by the brand Gear, not Champion, but it is still a reverse weave, which is pretty cool. Keeping things moving here. Those guys threw this in my cart when I went to take a phone call to support your local local hooker, and one of the boys threw this in my cart. So I guess thank you, even though I didn't want it. Just a small little Crown Royale bag I have. Probably 10 of these. I'm just stockpiling them right now. I don't know what I'll do with them. I got a bunch of these little Coke toys, plushes or Beanie Babies, whatever you want to call them. They're in pretty rough condition, so I'll have to wash them up. But I do have a very small Coca Cola collection, and I will just put all of these, all of these on my Coke shelf. I got a video game and a book, a Marlboro size medium crew neck sweatshirt. The lizard one, this is an essential piece. Um, looks a little small, but should be a quick and easy sale. And the last thing in this first sack is my receipt. I spent $32 at the bins. Everything you're gonna see here in this video, I picked up for $32. I know if I could sell two things, I'm in the profit. So I love shopping at the bins. Oh yeah, and this is in there too. I didn't look this up, but these little electric typers are usually worth some money. I have no clue what this one is for. Could be worth $15 or it could be worth 100 bucks. And that'll do it for the first sack. Moving on to the second. I got a hat. Brixton Company. Brixton is a skating company, I believe. Uh, so we got a nice, got a nice little snapback hat from them. Some vintage Adidas track pants. These are size large. These are the paper thin ones. Got a nice little spell out on the on the thigh right there, and it does have the tapered zipper bottoms. These track pants, man, I pick them up, I feel like every time I go to the bins, I find at least one pair of track pants. Once again, not a big money maker, but a quick money maker. This is a new age Nike t-shirt. It caught my eye because of the floral print. So I'll pick that one up. I have no clue on the price for that. I do have a Wrangler guy, if you guys watched my one last video. So this is Rustler by Wrangler. Uh, my Wrangler guy, guy, guy likes these pearl snaps. He usually wants them in long sleeve, but whenever I can pick up Wrangler for cheap, I do, I do now because he, he wants to buy it from me. He wants to buy it cheap, so I have to buy it cheap. But at least I have someone I can flip it to. I don't know why I picked this up. This is like an all over fleece with Winnie the Pooh on it. Come on now, someone's gonna stay cozy stay cozy in this. Oh yeah, this is another thing I probably should have looked up uh, more, more in detail. This is a men's size medium, 
flannel. This is like the softest material I've ever touched and I've never seen this Columbia tag before. So I picked it up. I was gonna do a little research on it to figure out like where it's from or why it's, why it's so soft. Why is it so soft? But yeah, I never did research on it. So I hope that tag is either old or rare and I hope this Columbia flannel jacket does well. Oh, too cool to leave behind. I had to pick that up even though it's only from what, 2012? Jeez. This flannel is probably gonna be for myself. I'm not much of a flannel guy, but this, I just love the colors on this. This is a new age champion fleece, size small, for the College of DePaul. This is another thing that, I don't know, maybe I should not have picked it up. Probably won't sell for much, but I had it in my cart, so I bought it. We got the Leaning Tower of clothes over here. So coming down to the bottom, this is one thing that I found in a bin the other guys passed through. Caught him slipping a little bit. 2XL tall, a massive Carhartt hoodie. Very essential piece. I've sold so much Carhartt stuff recently. It's crazy. Oh, this is just, this is a stupid pickup too. It's just my, my ill will of being able to leave behind vintage stripes. Can't leave them behind, have to pick them up. Vintage Stripe Polo. Found this in a bin, the other guys passed through as well. This is a white tag, Nike t-shirt. Very simple, nothing crazy to it. What, $10 sale maybe? I don't know. But at the bins, I just pick up anything and everything that I can. Oh my gosh, and that, that was the last item. <laughs> hey, would you look at that? So all of this stuff, Hoping to catch a thumbnail right there. So all of this stuff um, from the bins, 32 bucks. I got to meet some of the other vintage sellers that are from Iowa. Got to talk to them a little bit. It was a lot of fun. I always enjoy picking through the bins. And now I have some stuff that I can list because I was bone dry for inventory. So I got some work to do. Drop a big fat thumbs up if you like this video. I'm almost at 300 subscribers. I want to get there by the end of the year. And this has to be the video to get me there. So help spread some love. I would greatly appreciate it. I love doing this modern day treasure hunt and this whole reselling thing, both vintage stuff and any anything. So yeah, a like would really mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everybody.